Mississippi State, 42-24 to over Texas A&M. And this one, uh, if you're A&M, I mean, you've just got to be sick. Uh, because it's not getting any better. It does not look any better than it did before. And week after week, you're you're experiencing the exact same problems. We're going to pull it up, but looking at the uh, the stats, State outgained A&M 470 through, or 473 to 329. Um, the most surprising to me was that Mississippi State outrushed them 144 to 136 on seven less rushing attempts. Mississippi State had 13 penalties for 138 yards. A&M only had three for 24. A&M, I mean, this is the tale of the ballgame. They had four turnovers to only one for Mississippi State. Now, two of those came when uh, Haynes King came in late. Uh, he threw a pick six right after uh, Mississippi State missed a field goal. It was 35-17. to 17. A&M got the ball back. It was kind of late in the ballgame, which Max Johnson had an injury with eight minutes left in the ballgame. But Haynes King threw two interceptions in this game. Uh, but it wasn't the turnovers. It was just overall, uh, Mississippi State was the significantly better team, and it showed. I mean, A&M does have Alabama coming up next week, so maybe it was like a hit spot, but I doubt it, especially considering State beat them last year in like on Kyle Field. I don't, I don't fully understand what's happening with A&M, uh, but the more losses that you get, the more chance that you have, if you're an A&M fan, of Jimbo finally giving over the offensive reins to somebody else because... This is not working. Uh, I did see a message board post uh, <laughs> that somebody said uh, back a couple of weeks ago that this is all according to plan, that Jimbo is going to uh, bring out Connor Wigman for the, uh, for the Alabama game. But he's not going to show Connor before the Alabama game because that's the one that he really wants to win. He said, just watch. Uh, what will end up having or have happened? This was on September 16th. He said in the Mississippi State game, Max Johnson will go out with uh, a weird injury late in the game, and Haynes King will come in to ice it, which was way off because State absolutely blew him out of the water. Uh, but that, yeah, Max Johnson may not be healthy enough to play in the Alabama game, so they'll have to bring out Connor. Okay, let's see what happens this week because it, we may not have Bryce Young and we may not have. Uh, Max Johnson, and we met. I, who knows? Who knows at this point what to expect out of that ball game? I'm sure CBS is just like, what happened? This was supposed to be the matchup, and it's not. And so, uh, but regardless, state. Uh, this is I've said it a thousand times. I feel like fantastic football team. They are experienced. They are old. They are some big dudes with a with NFL talent, and. They are now in their third year with Mike Leach. They understand this offense. They know what's going on. This is a fun team. They are really, really good. So pay attention to them. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.